haven't seen anything yet. That's loud. Can you hear that? Is that loud? I wish you guys could have seen it. I'll see uh, if it got picked up or not on camera. Uh, geez. I'm trying to figure out what time it is. It is uh, right at 1027. And uh, the only deer, it sounded like a whole herd was coming up through the, uh, from the hillside. And I couldn't tell it. Then it sounded like they were coming down through the, uh, into the saddle. And I, I really didn't have much time. There was uh, one that didn't look like it had any antlers at all. And then there was a, uh, a second that looked like it had a little rack. And I'm like, well, what should I do? What should I do? There was actually a, uh, a third deer. A third deer, and that's the one that I ended up firing on. Oh, man. Uh, initially, it didn't look like he was hit, but I knew I had a good shot. I knew I, I knew I, uh, I had a good beat on him. So I didn't have much time. I, I, I kind of just made like a quick bloop just to get him to stop in his tracks. The three of them, they were sneaking through. They weren't stopping. They were trying to get somewhere. And uh, as soon as he cleared the tree, luckily when I went bloop, I timed it just right. He heard me. His vitals were exposed just on the right side of the tree. I had the bead and uh, I didn't overthink it. As soon as, uh, as soon as I was on him, I cracked the shot and that was it. He didn't fall right over, but he turned around and head the other direction. Uh, unlike the other two deer that kept going and uh, it wasn't until he got to this path over here that he uh, he stumbled and fell. We're, we're going to give it a few minutes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a done deal. He kicked a few times after hitting the ground, but it's pretty much a done deal. But I'll just give it a few minutes just to be sure. Whew. 300 blackout. That was the uh, first time I, I used Leslie on a, <laughs> a living creature. And the first time I used uh, 300 blackout. Safety's on. Uh, we're locked and loaded, ready to go, just in case. That area there. So that tree, that's what I'm, I remember seeing in my mind's eye. We'll see what the, uh, the tail of the tape says. And I went, boop, and he stopped right about there, exposed his vitals. He ran all the way across, back over to here, the trail. That's when I, I knew he was affected, but I didn't see it taking him over until right about there, he really had a problem. And then he crashed. Crashed and burned right over that side of the trail. It 
hasn't moved anymore. And it was the biggest of the three. Darker than the other two. Bigger body than I'm, than I'm accustomed to seeing in these woods. <sighs> it's starting to hit me. I had to put everything aside to connect the shot and just make it happen. And now it's, it's, here it is like 20 minutes later and it's, it's, it's getting to me. I guess it's about time now to start climbing down. All right.